Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss about logarithmic decrement. Now we have already discussed that in case of the underdamped systems, the motion is in the form of this, the SHM motion, the oscillations are there with the decreasing magnitude, right? So therefore the factor coefficient logarithmic decrement it comes into picture which represents the rate at which the amplitude decreases right so this is the rate at which amplitude is decreasing and this is the natural log of the ratio of two successive amplitudes now we see that the amplitude is decreasing so the ratio of the amplitude of any two successive uh, you know cycles that gives the logarithmic decrement and we use it to find the damping ratio of the under damped systems because only in case of the under damped systems where zeta is less than 1 we see the oscillations in case of the damping so let's assume that this is the uh, you know uh, plot we have made between the displacement the amplitude and the time period right and these are two successive oscillations, right? So what we see, we see that the amplitude of the oscillations, it is decreasing, right? So time taken between any two successive oscillations is given by TD. It remains same for any two successive oscillations. And let's assume the maximum amplitude for this system be X, right? The maximum amplitude would have been this, but now it is decreasing, right? So, in the first case, when time is equal to 0, so the amplitude is x0. Now, in the second case, when time is equal to Td, what is x1? Now, we have already seen that the equation is SHM, right? So, if the amplitude, if, in, if we represent it with this coordinate system, right? So, if this is x, the amp magnitude, so what will be this factor because we are talking about the vertical factor so if this angle is phi right so the vertical is given by x sine phi right so this is the value of the uh, this vertical uh, amplitude which is x sine phi so x1 will be equal to x which is the maximum amplitude sine phi into this factor which is e raised to the power minus zeta omega n td now this factor is showing what this is showing the decrease in the amplitude right the exponential decrease in amplitude and x sine phi is showing the uh, oscillation or the simple harmonic motion now with every successive oscillation what is happening this amplitude is decreasing with what factor it is dependent upon this time period because in going from this maximum value to here it is taking what time period it is taking 2 td right the time taken for damping for one cycle it was td that means whatever is the number of cycle that much time is being taken so for 2 x2 it is 2 td 2 td for x3 it is 3 td and so on so if i want to find the amplitude of xn it is ntd for n plus 1 it is n plus 1 td and the rest of the equation remains same so if i try to find the ratio of xn upon xn plus 1 it will be this ratio which is constant for whatever two successive oscillations you want to find the ratio it will always remain same which is the exponent of exponential of zeta omega n td so we can place the values of n, n plus 1, whether it's x0 upon x1, x1 upon x2 and so on. Now this, if we take the natural log of this equation, so this gives the delta, which is the logarithmic decrement. So the, if we take natural log of this equation, it becomes this value. So it becomes zeta omega n td. So delta is what? Zeta omega n td. And what is td? It is 2 pi upon omega d. And what is omega d? Sorry. So, td is what? 2 pi upon omega d. So, what is omega d? Omega d is the frequency of damping, right? So, we place the value of 2 pi upon omega d. And what is omega d? This we have already derived. That is 
under root 1 minus zeta square into omega n. So omega n it gets cancelled out and this is the equation that we get which is 2 pi zeta upon under root 1 minus zeta square and this is the ratio or this is the equation which helps us in finding the ratio of two successive oscillations right which is constant for whatever number of oscillations you want to find out the ratio always remain constant. 